You have previously heard me say that we were not able to test every Albertan with a cough or runny nose, but we believe that we may now be at the point where we can do so. That is why, effective immediately, we are expanding eligibility for testing to anyone in Alberta who has a fever, cough, shortness of breath, runny nose, or sore throat. If you have any of these COVID-19 symptoms, it is important to remember the critical first step. Stay home if you're sick. Your next step should be to take the AHS online assessment form in order to arrange testing. There is no need to call 811 for those who complete the form. And completing this online form is the most efficient way to arrange for a test. We will carefully monitor the volume of completed tests and may need to make adjustments at some point in the future if we have more requests for testing than the capacity to perform them. Having said that, as long as we maintain our testing and lab capacity, it is my hope that we can continue to offer this broad access to testing. With this change, going forward, we will see a further increase in the number of cases confirmed every day as a result of this testing. We have already seen this increase over the past few days with the expansion that we have already done. I know seeing this increase in numbers may be a concern to some, but it's important to remember that the number of daily confirmed cases as a percent of the tests done every day has remained approximately similar through the past several weeks. When we look at the provincial numbers by the date the swabs were collected, the percentage of tests that have come back positive has been approximately 2% for the past several weeks. This indicates that the rate of infection has remained relatively stable over the last while. Another thing we look at is the rate of hospitalization which is currently a more accurate indicator of the trend than our total case numbers. This is because, as I mentioned, our total case numbers are determined by our testing eligibility, which has changed over the last 10 days. Going forward, testing all symptomatic Albertans will give us a more complete picture of trending over time. In the coming days, I will be releasing COVID-19 hospitalization trends which will give us a better picture of the spread over the past several weeks. I want to say thank you to all of you for doing your part to prevent the spread this weekend. You have helped save lives. For our numbers today, we have confirmed 81 new cases of COVID-19 in the last 24 hours. This brings the total number of cases to 1,732. Of these, 877 people have recovered. This is 54 more than yesterday. We suspect 254 of our total cases may be as a result of community transmission. Sadly, I must report an additional two deaths from COVID-19. One of these deaths occurred in the Care West SARC Continuing Care Facility in Calgary Zone. I want to offer my condolences to the family and friends of these individuals. This is a difficult time. The loss of these lives is a reminder of why we are taking the measures that are implemented now. And so the reason that we're seeing our numbers come in lower than our theoretical modeling, uh, the reason that we've been more successful than other jurisdictions is because Albertans have been willing to make sacrifices to protect the greater good, to protect their neighbours and their loved ones. Uh, so with respect to convincing them to keep up the distancing, I think I would say two things. One is that this distancing will not last forever. Uh, we are watching our numbers closely and we are in active discussions about what kinds of things we might be able to ease up on if we continue to have a trend of numbers that are declining uh, over a several week period. So I want to assure Albertans that uh, these restrictions again will not be in place forever. And I also would say that if we release our hold on restrictions too soon, uh, that we could undo all of the work and all of the sacrifices that we've collectively made to get to this point. So I guess I would ask Albertans to trust that, that we know that these restrictions are not easy, uh, that they are causing hardship, uh, and that we are making plans to ease them off in a way that will have the least impact on progression of the disease uh, when we make sure that we have 
the numbers to do so and also the infrastructure to be able to prevent further spread. Because uh, if we were to ease off our restrictions too quickly, then we, it, we could potentially see spread like other jurisdictions have.